Good day, mathbacks! Sir Sherwin here, your math instructor. Welcome to another content where we are learning all about mathematics in an exciting and interesting way. And for today's video, we will learn all about inverse variation. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updated contents. And I will be more glad if you like this video, leave a comment, and share with friends. So let's start this math lesson now! Hello dear math buddies! Welcome to my YouTube channel. And as what we mentioned earlier, today we will learn all about inverse variation. But first, let us be guided with these adjectives. First, we will define an inverse variation. Second, we will translate mathematical statements into equation. Third, we will be solving for the constant of variation. And fourth, we will solve problems involving inverse variation. So with that, let's be ready as we define an inverse variation. When we are talking about inverse variation, we are referring to a variation that occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. And these statements that reflects an inverse variation would be y varies inversely as x, where this statement can be translated mathematically as y equals k over x where k is the constant of variation. The question is, how will we picture out an inverse variation? One best representation that gives us a clearer understanding of an inverse variation is a picture of two persons playing in a seesaw and situated in both ends. This gives us the idea that in an inverse variation, when x and y are our related variables, when y increases, x decreases. And when y decreases, x increases. So this would be the concept of an inverse variation. This time, let us try to translate some mathematical statements into equation. This statements that involves an inverse variation. Let us have our statement number one. The number of pizza slices p varies inversely to the number of persons n sharing the whole pizza. From this given statement, our two related variables are p and n. So we can write this statement into equation as p is equal to k over n. Again, p represents the number of pizza slices equals k, that would be the constant of variation, over n that represents the number of persons sharing the whole pizza. So we have the equation, p is equal to k over n. Let's have the second statement. The number of persons n needed to do a job varies inversely to the number of days d needed to finish the job. So from this given statement, we will have the two related variables n and d n that represents the number of person, and d that represents the number of days. So number of persons varies inversely to the number of days needed to accomplish the job. So we can write this mathematically as n is equal to k over d. n is equal to k over d. Let's have the third one. The length l of a rectangle varies inversely to its width, w. So our two related variables are L and w. L that represents the length and w that represents the width. So we can write this mathematically as L is equal to k over w. L is equal to k over w. Let's have the fourth statement. The base B of a triangle varies inversely to its altitude H. So from this statement, our two related variables 
are B and H. So we can write this statement into equation as B is equal to K over H. So from this given statement, can you now translate this statement into equation? Let's have a try. The density D of air varies inversely as the volume V of water in the atmosphere. The rate R at which a person types a certain manuscript varies inversely as the time T spent in typing. I hope you got it right. This time, join me as we solve for the constant of variation in an inverse variation. So based on our definition earlier, Inverse variation occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. And this time, for us to solve for k or the constant of variation, all we need to do is to multiply the two related variables. With this, let's try to have our first example as we solve for the constant of variation. y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 5. So for us to solve for k for this given statement, all we need to do is to translate first our statement into equation. Since we have y varies inversely as x, then we can write this mathematically as y equals k over x. And for us to solve for k, all we need to do is to substitute our y, which is 12, and x, which is equal to 5. So we'll have 12 is equal to k over 5. And we will do this by applying cross-multiplication or just simply multiplying 12 and 5. So we will have 12 times 5, that is equal to K. And the product between these two numbers would be 60. In this case, the constant of variation for this given statement is equal to 60. Remember that in an inverse variation, product is constant. So we will have the constant of variation which is equal to 60. And for us to write the equation of our variation, that is y is equal to 60 over x. So this would be the equation of our given variation. Let's have the second statement. y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 18 when x is equal to 3. For us to solve for the constant of variation for our second statement, again, let us try to translate first this statement into equation. Since y varies inversely as x, so we can write this mathematically as y equals k over x. And for us to solve for k, all we need to do is to substitute our y, which is 18, and our x, which is equal to 3. And by cross-multiplication, or by multiplying 18 and 3, so we'll have 18 times 3, that is equal to the constant of variation, 54 is equal to k, or the constant of variation. And this statement will have an equation y is equal to 54 over x. So this would be the equation of our variation. So this is how to obtain the constant of variation in an inverse variation. Let's have the third one. So how will we determine if the given table of x and y represents an inverse variation? And if it is an inverse variation, how will we determine its constant of variation? So supposing we have here in this given example, a table of x and y with values of x equal to 3, 6, 9, and 12, and values of y equals 2, 1, two-thirds, and one-half. So first is we will simply get the product of our x and y. And if our x and y have its consistent product, then that would be the constant operation 
and the same time, it can be considered as well as an inverse variation. Let's try to have this one. So if we will get the product of 3 and 2, so its product is equal to 6. For our second column, multiplying 6 and 1, we will have a result of 6. For our third column, we will have 9 times 2 thirds. So it will lead us to 18 over 3. And 18 over 3 can be simplified as 6. And for our fourth column, we will have 12 times 1 half. And its product is equal to 12 over 2 or 6. Here, we have a consistent product of 6. This means this would be the constant of variation of our given table. And it follows that our table of x and y represents an inverse variation. This time, let's try to solve problems involving an inverse variation. Let's have our first problem. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 6. For us to solve this problem, first thing we need to do is to translate our statement into equation. The first statement from this given problem will help us determine the equation. So we will have y varies inversely as x. So we will have the equation y is equal to k over x. And for us to determine the constant of variation, we will use the first set of given. And I am referring to the values of our y, which is equal to 3, and x, which is equal to 4. We will solve for the constant of variation. So solving for k can be done by getting the product of our x and y, which is equal to 3, and our x, which is equal to 4. So multiplying 3 and 4 is equal to the constant of variation, which is equal to 12. So our constant of variation is equal to 12. So for us to determine now the unknown, which is finding for y when x is equal to 6, utilize again our given equation, which is y equals k over x as we find our y. So y here is unknown. K is the value of our constant of variation where we solved earlier, and that is equal to 12. And our x is the second value of our x in our given problem, which is equal to 6. So here, y is equal to the quotient of 12 and 6, which is equal to 2. So from this given concept, our y is equal to 2. So this is how to solve our given problem. Let's have the second problem. If m varies inversely as n and m is equal to 8 when n is equal to 3, find m when n is equal to 12. So for us to solve our second problem, again, first step is we need to translate our statement into equation. From this given problem, we have if m varies inversely as n. So mathematically, it can be written as m is equal to k over n. And we will solve for the constant of variation using the first set of given, where m is equal to 8 and n which is equal to 3. So solving for k can be done when we substitute our m, which is equal to 8, and our n, which is equal to 3. And constant of variation can be determined when we multiply 8 and 3. And that is equal to 24. So our constant of variation is equal to 24. After we solve for the constant of variation, that is the time we will find for the unknown when n is equal to 12. Solving for m can be done when we use our existing equation, which is m is equal to k over n, and substituting our k, 
which is equal to 24, and our n, which is equal to 12. So, getting the cosine of 24 and 12, we have a result of 2. So, this means our m is equal to 2 when n is equal to 12. So, this would be the easier way on how to solve for the unknown in an inverse variation word problem. So, just put into mind these concepts if we are dealing with an inverse variation. Before I end, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and share this with your classmates or friends. It would be great help for all of us. There you have it. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.